my father wasn't born in the black country, or my mother, or my brother, or any of my uncles or aunts, or my wife, or my children. I'm the only Cummings ever to have been born here, and in all likelihood, I'm the only Cummings who ever will. The Cummings family touched the black country only once in the form of me. But when I die, my soul will ascend here to Sedgley Beacon. But before doing so, it will hover like a cursor on the stage sets of my life. Stourbridge, Hales Owen, Cradley Heath, Dudley, Netherton, Sedgley, Old Hill, Wolverhampton, Walsall, Birmingham. I came up here to talk about the black country and the special quality that it holds for me. But if you can see what I can see, I hardly need to. Scientific research has recently proven that it takes thousands and thousands of years for the light to travel from Wolverhampton to Sedgley. Those civilizations could have died out centuries ago, and we're still receiving their Edetic afterimage. That white lozenge over there is the Manda Centre in Wolverhampton. I'm still 28. It's still 1996. The Britpop War is almost over, and you and McGregor is still king. Before the tectonic plates moved, along with the postal boundaries in 1973, this whole area was underwater. Sedgley Beacon, Malvern Beacon and Bar Beacon were prehistoric islands jutting from a prehistoric sea. Bilston Church, with its uniquely chamfered sides, was a coral rock formation, and you could sense the trilobites burrowing their way to Dudley Museum and Art Gallery. I think it's because I'm not ancestrally from the black country, that I see it with the eyes of a local and those of a tourist. It never stops being beautiful to me. It never stops being exotic. The tower behind us and the hundreds of others like it that pepper the townscapes of the black country remind me of the surrealistic piazzas of Giorgio de Chirico and they're pregnant with the same possibilities. <laughs> I think we often forget to give our children useful advice. Things like, never miss an opportunity to crowbar the word patinated into your everyday discourse. For me, the black country is patinated with the sulphury glitter of the Industrial Revolution, lit from within by the fossily light beneath. Something about this sloping woodland that reminds me of Russian Expressionist cinema. Even though I'm reasonably confident that I've never seen any Russian Expressionist cinema. Have you? It's only the second time this year that I've felt like Hedy Lamarr in the German Expressionist masterpiece, Ex Days, but Sedgley Beacon does that for you.
So what's the black country synonymous with for me? Teddy Gray's, the smell of resin sand in the lost wax casting process, the cut out horses by the railway, a patch of cloud hovering above a shopping centre viewed from astride the cannons at Dudley Zoo, the horned devil in birdcage walk and all of the loopy bottly glitter of Victorio Edwardiana. Perhaps there's a pub in the South China Seas with images of century adorning its walls. When I'm in the lakes, or the dales, or the peaks, or the desolate sweep of the east of England, I feel precarious, I feel exposed, I feel exhilarated. When I'm here, I feel something different. I feel folded in, cosy, snuggled up, and home. <laughs>